to. Okay, guys and gals, very simple. Market profile has been around since 1985. The most important market profile that we have in the trading room is volume profile. Volume profile, it takes all the volume in the market. It takes all the algorithms, hedge funds, prop firms, professional, amateur traders, and it spits out this big green thick level, big blue thick level, big red thick level. This is the volume profile. I don't use a standard 30-minute market profile. I think 30-minute market profiles are worthless. I use this long-term institutional style profile because they can catch big swings in the market. So what I do is this, is the first thing we do is market profile is irrelevant until we know either trend or chop market. Are we trending or are we chop? There's only two types of markets you deal with every day. Either market's going vertical, meaning we're trending, or we're chopping. We need to identify if we're in trend or chop. So the easy way to do it, we don't use moving averages for support and resistance. Those are worthless. Can't do it. Impossible. Moving averages are lagging. But we use it for trend direction. We have this magenta MA overlined over top of our overlaid on top of our market profile levels. If it's angled down, I have certain rules or methodology to trade by. I want to sell high value area if it comes up to it this level. I want to look for a break, retest of the control point, which is the most volume that's traded in that instrument during the session. Or I want to break, retest the area. Now when I logged in the trading room, I called this trade out before it even happened because I said we're going to look for a break of this level, a retest of this level, and the short would be of the retest with a C as ABC short. And I said that is our first trade we'll look at, a shallow retracement. Our next retracement would be here, the control point. Our next possible sell would be the high value area. So if we know we're in a downtrend, we know we're selling retracements. So all we're going to do is look for an ABC short. So the market broke through. I said if it breaks through and it retests, here's a shallow retracement to look for a trade. It came up to the LVA, the low value area. I have Fibonacci confluence, and then we got negative market delta. Negative market delta over here. Here's your negative market delta. That fired off right there for the trade setup. So there's your negative market delta on the ABC short. We were in a downtrend. We're going to look for a break low value area, a retest of low value area. It retested, and then we're going to look for a negative market delta. Here's your negative market delta. It can break through this level. It just can't close by a whole body candle close, which it did not. The level is actually up here a little bit on the retracement. I said the target would be 18 to 20 on this to scale because here's support down here on price profile. Price profile are the dots. So a very simple methodology. If we're in a downtrend, we're selling retracements. You break, retest the low value area. We had a short setup here with the control, I mean, with the market delta. Now, deeper retracement, if we, if this gets taken out, this high gets taken out, and our runner gets taken out, we'll look for a short of 53 to 55. Why? Because we're in a downtrend, and we'll look for a ABC short there, a break, a longer ABC, a break. It'll look like this. Here's your A, there's your B. There'll be your C pattern right there. That'll be a bigger ABC pattern. All right, because it'll look like this. Break, retest, get negative market delta up here. Now you get a, a larger ABC. So all you're looking at this for is ABC patterns, ABC patterns in the market, and play it off market profile. All our trades are generated off market profile. Now I do have Ninja 8 coming out where arrows are going to fire automatically. So you're going to know if I get an arrow here on Ninja 8, we had four of them yesterday that worked out great. If an arrow fires there, you know it's a great trade because you're already in the ABC pattern, right? You're in an ABC. So it gives you confirmation. Now, if I look on gold, and I'll bring gold over, this is a trade I said look for next. I said, hey, gold, we're in a range market. Look for a break retest. Guess what it just did? We got our first target out. It's not by luck. It's not by chance. I'm not Nostradamus. I can't, I can't predict where the market's going to go. I have no clue. You have no clue. 
this is strictly market profile telling me that look for a break outside of market profile, look for a retest. We were inside of LVA here. I said, look for an ABC pattern <clears throat> to the members in the room. <clears throat> look for a retest ABC short. What did the market do? It broke below low value area. It retested low value area. I had a negative market delta right at the high. We got our first target off with a runner running on gold right now too. Look how the patterns are exactly the same. I broke through LVA, retested LVA. Continuation, first target off on crude. I broke LVA, I retested LVA, negative market delta, first target off on gold. Now with Ninja 8, like I said, if you get an arrow that fires here also, because my arrows will give you confirmation, if it fires off right at that bar, you have confirmation of a nice trade. Okay? So all these are ABCs. And we had another short up here. This is an ABC short. All your trading is ABCs, guys, all day long. It's been working for 32 years. ABC pattern right there. Break, retest, control, continuation. All right? Just like this last one, ABC short. ABC short right here. There's your ABC short that I talked about before it happened. There you go. Same exact pattern. So you're strictly trading ABC patterns when you're in trend market. I mean, it's that simple. You're trending, you're letting market profile break, you let it retest, you're trying to get negative market delta for continuation trades. That's how we do it.